Hey there, it's Ben Hassel here, and here in this tutorial, we're gonna be having a look at how we work with a double exposure effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, this is the second of three videos I'm doing on compositing and animation in Final Cut Pro 10. The first one was all about working with green screen in Final Cut Pro 10, um, and the last video is gonna be working with animation and the Stupid Raisins Arrow Pop plugin that you can get for Final Cut Pro 10. This particular video um, is working with all built-in plugins for Final Cut Pro 10, looking at how we work with color and contrast, and then use some of the compositing effects to actually create this double exposure. So without further ado, let's dive in and have a look at how we create this double exposure effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a brand new timeline. So we'll come to File, New, and Project. And we'll call this Double Exposure Demo. And we'll leave the resolution 1080, 1920 by 1080 and 29.97. And then basically we are gonna grab uh, this video of me with my face silhouetted uh, to the background of the snow. So this compositing technique uses um, the brightness and contrast in an image uh, to basically allow you to composite on something that is lighter than the image itself. So basically we're gonna increase the contrast here. And then once we've done that, we're going to add this video inside uh, kind of the silhouette of the, the head here. So I'm gonna do a few things here. We're gonna drop down the audio. We don't need the, the kind of background sound here. And just to kind of make this a little bit easier to work with later when we clean up some of the edges, we are going to stabilize uh, this video. So I'm just gonna check my stabilization there and wait for it to stabilize. And then basically a lot of the work that we're doing uh, in this video, we'll set this to tripod mode so it's kind of nice and static. And actually we'll edit out this talking that I'm doing here. So we'll just trim this down and let it stabilize again. Okay, so now we have this kind of static image and we are going to kind of push the contrast this and then look at how we create that double exposure effect. So basically the first thing we're gonna do is come up to our color effects controls up here and we are gonna work with the color board in the first instance. And basically I wanna drop down the brightness of this and then increase the whites and we'll also drop down the darkness here. So basically, we are pulling all these levels right down except for those whites, which is really gonna push the contrast here. We'll come to the saturation and then drop down the saturation. Okay, so it's a completely black and white image. And this is pretty close to what we, we need for this effect. So basically you can see we have a very kind of black and white image. We might also add on a color curves uh, panel here as well, where we can also kind of modify uh, the color a bit more precisely uh, with some of these curves and actually really brighten up uh, some of the, the whites as well. So you can see here when we push these levels up, we're really getting that almost perfect kind of silhouette there. So we're getting rid of all the, the kind of grays and the detail. So we're going to leave that like that. That's basically the kind of main image we need. We will need to clean up some of these edges um, here a little bit later, but we'll look at how we do that afterwards. So we'll drag down our video here and I'll trim this down to the same length. So I'm gonna use Alt and the right square bracket to trim this down. And then really simply um, with this layer selected, if we come to our video options, we're gonna to go to where it should say normal for the blend mode and change this to lighten. And that will basically lighten up uh, any areas of the image that are darker than that kind of foreground image. Now in this image that we're using, there are some quite strong shadows in that image. So they're not lighter in the jacket because they're not lighter than the image in the background. So we might also wanna to come to this image on the second layer's color options as well and come to the exposure and just basically lighten this image up a little bit. And that will mean we get a little bit more detail of that image um, in that double exposure. So you can see now when I've made those changes, we're basically pulling out some of the information in those trees um, into this edit. So you can see we get these cars running through and then everything else is looking good. So what we wanna do is kind of remove the trees in the background here and just have the kind of pure image on its own. And we're gonna need a solid white layer in the background for that. So I'm gonna to come to my generators here. We'll scroll right down to the generators and come to solids and we're looking for the white generator. So I'm gonna drag this to the beginning of my clip and I'll just do shift and Z again, just to bring that up. We'll pull these two clips back to the beginning in the same kind of layer order. And now with this background layer, 
I'm going to make this a bright white. So basically, with that background layer selected, we can come up to the top right in our inspector and make it bright white. And now on this second layer, here we're going to actually um, come to our masks option and use the draw mask. So I'm going to drag a draw mask onto this layer and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here to 200% because it's these edges here for the jacket that I really want to kind of focus in on and we can draw around these and this is why we set this to, to tripod mode um, so that we could really kind of focus in on some of these edges and not have that uh, kind of move too much at all really um, when we're doing this final masking out. Obviously, if you have a perfect white background and you set this shot up a bit better than I have, uh, then you will not have to do this. But for this video, we didn't get a perfect kind of white outline. I don't need to worry about where the edges are already kind of nice and clean. I can just move around those and kind of stay further away from the edge. And then we'll find that beginning point, mask out those little footsteps in the snow as well and if we now go to fit now you can see we have this nice kind of perfect white double exposure now there is another step that we can uh, do in this so i'm going to hold down the alt key and just drag this up i'm going to come up to the inspector here and i'm going to take off the color curves but i'm going to leave the color board there and i'm going to come into that effect and just come into the saturation i'm going to dial the saturation back up to pull in the back pull back in a bit of that color and I'm just going to lift up some of those mid-tones and drop down the the whites a little bit just so we're getting a bit of the detail of that face in there so we want to keep the whites nice and white so we're brightening this up and what we can do here um, is a couple of things so the first thing is if we now come into our blend modes here we can use these blend modes to kind of darken or multiply um, with the background as well or we can just drop down the opacity and we'll get a little bit of those facial features within that mask as well we've still got the um, stabilization on here um, but we can blend these in as well so if i use a shape mask on this top layer and i'm just going to make this more of an ellipse then we can basically Kind of do a nice blend where we're just dropping in um, so using the shape mask and a mixture of the shape mask and a little bit of opacity we're just dropping back in some of those facial features so we get that mix of the double exposure effect but then some of that original color and detail of the face um, back in that image as well so you can see we've got a real nice level of control once we start to stack these layers up um, when we're creating a double exposure effect like this so as mentioned before this is the second of kind of this three-part series and in the next video we're going to have a look at how we animate these images with transparency or where we've composited different layers together and then animate on uh, some arrows um, using the arrow pop plugin from fx factory and stupid raisins um, in this video so do click on the next video and watch that one um, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful for creating the double exposure effect if you have any questions then uh, leave them in the comments below um, and let's dive into the next tutorial